This is the one about your lawn and your plants. I know you're thinking about it every day because we can't water in many cities as much as we usually want to and need to, but there are ways you can help your lawn and your landscape plants survive these water restrictions, hopefully. The first thing obviously is to know whether or not what you have in your landscape beds is even designed to survive this kind of heat. If it's not, don't worry about it. If it's a small inexpensive plant, you can replant it later. Don't waste a bunch of water trying to make it survive when it's just not designed for this. So that's the first thing. Second thing, St. Augustine is going to be the first kind of lawn to die if you can't give it regular deep water. So please water deeply when you can water if you're not fully restricted. Water as much as one and a half to two times the amount of water you usually give it so that in between the water goes down, the roots go down to find it, and they're in a little bit cooler soil as well. We don't want those tiny feeder roots to be up in the first inch or two of soil where they're going to burn up just like we are. So more water. Also chemicals. Stay away from high nitrogen fertilizers right now because it's just going to burn everything up. You're not going to be able to give it enough water right now. And also many herbicides that are designed for killing in the cooler months could harm everything, not just your targeted wheat this time of year. So read labels, ask us questions, talk to your neighbors, water more deeply, and you too, water yourself more deeply as well. So.